welcome to the Nerdy Fitness Vlog with your host Pablo Gunner. I miss you all. Uh, I miss doing this every day. Unfortunately, I don't have time, but uh, as the theme is silver lining this week, I'll get to why. So I have more time now that I'm not doing this every day um, and I don't have to edit every day or edit every other day. I have a lot more time, especially to go home and get rest. So that's another thing is so uh, at work, I'm not allowed to drive the company vehicles. And at first I was annoyed because it's restricting me on how much overtime I can work because I can't work posts where I can't drive, right? But I'm starting to realize that I'm in this perfect ground where you know, I can milk it for overtime, like for getting relieved because I gotta go, oh, sorry, I can't drive. I gotta get a ride. So then it wastes time until I get a ride. And then the other factor is like, I'm in this perfect place where they can't hit me with overtime because there's not many posts that they can hit me with. And then I'm not, you know, unarmed. So they can't hit me with unarmed posts. So I'm, I'm in this perfect place where they can't hit me. So what's been going on is because of that, my schedule has been completely free. I get off by eight, you know, so I still get like an hour of overtime or even by 8.30. Hey, that's fine. That's good too. You know, I have enough time to go work out, do a good hour workout and then still make it to the comic book shop or still make it home in time, even with my long drive to get plenty of rest. So it's been working out fantastically. So as far as workout goes, like I said, I'm going to be talking about my workout, I'm going to be talking about food, I'm going to be talking about music, you know, music I've been listening to, I've been talking about the shows uh, that I've been watching, uh, on video game stuff, yeah, there's always video games. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to be talking about. First, foremost, workout stuff. So day one, which for my day one, it starts on a Tuesday, so Tuesday evening I go into work, so I go into work and... I go in early, I go before my shift on Tuesday because I work graveyard and I go to the gym, the work gym that we have there. And so I go, okay, I'm gonna do this workout. Unfortunately, the way that the things have been too, uh, the weather's been horrible out here in New Mexico with, with rain. And usually like rain's not a problem because in New Mexico it rains for like five minutes and then it's done. And then it might, you know, and that's it. But this is like torrential downpours where like you literally cannot see in front of you. People are pulling over. It's just madness. So I got to the gym late almost every single day this week. So I didn't have as much time to work out. So I got to work out, I get to work and I'm like, damn it, I don't have enough time to do my X-Men training. X training might not be, you know, clear enough. I don't want to rip off the, uh, you know, what is it? The X, X whatever, what's his name that does the X thing? Um, Randy Orton. So X-Men training, right? Do the yoga and then do the upper body cardio. But even though I wanted to do lower, I want to do regular cardio, bottom, you know, lower body cardio mostly, uh, or a mishmash of the two. So, but I didn't have time. So what I did instead is I just did yoga. That's all I had time for. So that's all I did. I still actually ran long and was late jumping into the shower. Uh, so jumped in the shower, got ready for work, everything like that. And, um, you know, that's the th other thing too, is like, because I, didn't, I haven't been working that hard, out that hardcore for the week, I haven't been eating that much. So I haven't been that hungry when I do. So I'll just have like a cheese stick and that's it. I'm good for hours, which is kind of like the usual, but even then like the cheese stick, I'm like not even hungry for the cheese stick. I haven't been eating my cheese sticks because I'm like, eh, I'm not hungry. So I won't even, I'll have like some fruit mix that I got from Costco. I got a different one. Uh, I don't like this one as much. So then in the morning when I got off, I did arms. So uh, that's what I did. Did an awesome arms workout, it was fantastic. Um, and then that night, day two, as I would call it, uh, I came in once again, I was late. I did abs, because I was like, yeah, you know, whatever. Uh, that counted as my cardio days, the day one. So day two, I was like, okay, I'm doing abs. So I did abs, but I wanted to do like lower abs because lower abs is leg work mostly so I didn't want to do that because I knew I was gonna do legs in the morning so that's exactly what I did is I did abs and then I did legs in the morning as uh, Avenger abs I like to call them and so uh, and then legs I don't have an acronym that I can throw or not acronym but a, a adjective to throw or anything I don't know what to think of to go with legs 
uh, luscious legs, lovely legs. That doesn't sound right. It is. It's not nerdy. Um, but I don't know. Uh, so yeah, who has some sexy legs? That is like a nerdy character. Quicksilver legs, flashes legs. I don't know. That's that's what I did. Legs. That was an awesome workout. And I'm really starting to see some definition in my legs. It's it's freaking awesome. You're starting to see those muscles bulge out. You know, slowly but surely. Uh, but don't call me Shirley. Day three going that night and I was like, okay, it is a cardio day. So I did upper body cardio because I was like, well, I don't want to work out my legs because I just did that. So I'm going to do lower body cardio. I mean, upper body cardio. So that's what I did is upper body cardio. Once again, like I said, I was late, so I didn't get, it was, it was tough getting through all of it, but I did as best as I could. I think I got through most of it. So did that. And then after that, I, in the morning, I did arms again. That was my day three, I believe, yes. And then, so day four, going in that night, uh, was another abs, another Avenger abs. Like I said, I tried to do different abs workouts, though. And then I did legs in the morning on my day four. And then on day five, I did, I did my X-Men training upper body cardio or something. I don't know. I did cardio. All I know, that's all I know, I did cardio. And then, um, that's what I did. And then, uh, and then this morning I just knocked out arms. So yeah, that was it. So it was wonderful that I was able to do that every day and that's the plan every day is to do two workouts a day and to do, now I didn't get to do the full workouts because I got to work late a lot of the nights, but like the second, like I think the second and the fourth and fifth night, I was good to go. So I did full workouts on those ones at least. Uh, maybe even the third, but I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, for first two nights, I know I was late as heck. So for food, I had some leftover spaghetti and meatball from Matucci's. That's what I had on Monday. Actually, I couldn't even eat it all. Like that's all I ate pretty much the whole night. I think I had one other thing, like I said, I snacked on on my fruit, on my fruit uh, and nut mix, and and then the rest, like I I couldn't even finish all the meatballs. It was just too much meat for my mouth. Um, it happens, you know, you sometimes you get full, you can't, you see that all the meat and you're like, oh, I can, I can take it. And then once you get, you know, towards the end, you're like, nope, nope, it's too much. It's too much. You got to pull back. Okay. You know, I'll save this. I'll save this for later. So that's exactly what I did. Uh, I saved it for later that night, the next night before work, cause you know, on my way to work. So, and that's the other thing too, is like, uh, I did, I, I did go to Whataburger. And I was like, oh man, I'm hungry. They have a chicken fajita tacos. This was Tuesday. That was actually my Monday, yeah, that I did that. And so it was actually really good. It was, I think it was the lowest calorie thing on there, but everything else is like breaded chicken or fried or something. But yeah, it was the lowest calorie thing and it was actually really good. Uh, I had peppers and everything like that. Um, but yeah, it was, it was pretty good. So anyways, um, I didn't leave me to feeling too sluggish or anything like that. So it, it wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, so then, the, like I said, the, the on my day two, that's what I ate is the meatballs, the leftover meatballs that I had. That's what I ate, and before, like you know, before work. Um, and I think that's it. I want to say that's it. And then, uh, and then once again, like once when I got to work, I couldn't do a hardcore workout because I didn't have a lot of time. So, uh, so I wasn't that hungry. But the wife had made me some. Uh, like beef and broccoli uh, from Costco that I, I got it a while back, but it was in the freezer. It's fine. So, uh, so yeah, I had that. And I, you know, I try to make sure that all my stuff's organic. So I think it, it was, but yeah, so that's what I had beef and broccoli. It was a little container, but I could only eat half. I only ate about half. Uh, it was pretty good. Um, it tasted like it was kind of breaded though, which is weird to have breaded broccoli. Um, I mean, a uh, breaded uh, beef. I don't know. It was weird, but it was still tasted good. Um, beef and brock. Um, so yeah, it was it was it was pretty solid. Uh, so like I said, I only had half of that. And then that's the other thing too. When I get off, when I get off work, I usually have I have a yogurt, which is it's like a gogurt, but it's organic. It's easy to eat on the go. I also have my snack pack. It's like half you know little cheese cubes and half like fruit and nut mix. I like, um, and stuff. So that's what I usually eat on the way home. And then uh, naranjo, an orange, or some other kind of fruit. That's the other thing is I, you know, I like I, apples, you know, sometimes I'll have that throughout the night. And then on like I think day three, I had 
But why, I think the wife got me a burrito to go from her work. And I told her, you know, just egg, just egg, cheese, potato. It was not a big burrito. So she got some more food that was like potato, bacon, and and cheese. And there was enough in that little container to make two small burritos. So that's what I made. Uh, and so I had one of them before work. Um, and then uh, did my workout. And then, like I said, I was good after that. Well, I actually, I had a hardcore workout, I think, that night. So I was pretty hungry. So I had the second burrito uh, of, of the egg, cheese, potato, and uh, bacon. Uh, like I said, it, it was small. It wasn't too big. Because the wife had also give me another burrito. Yeah, last night, day five, the final day, I was freaking hungry. So... Uh, I had half of a burrito that she she got for me, and it wasn't it wasn't just uh, egg cheese. Well, it was it was it was egg cheese potato bacon. So, but I wasn't upset because it was like it hit the spot. It was perfect. It was fantastic, and so I loved it. I only ate half of it though, and then but I was starving after my workout, my hardcore cardio workout that I did, my uh, my X Men training and stuff. It feels more like DBZ training because it's a lot of punching and kicking. That's what I had, and so that was. But then I was still hungry, so uh, in the so later, like a few hours later, I had my rice bag, which is you know just chicken, rice, uh, some vegetables and stuff, and that was good. So that's pretty much what I had, and then now I just got like I said, I got done with my workout, so I had a yogurt and I had my snack pack. I got my naranjo here that I'm gonna eat later and stuff and uh, I got some jerky the wife got me some jerky so I needed to try that and stuff I will say too though that I learned that uh, warming up and stretching is essential because this week I was in a rush so I was like I'm gonna skip warm-ups you know and I'm gonna skip like sometimes I even skipped stretching or I just forgot about it um, and it, 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 it makes a difference like I was definitely sore this week and so I don't know if like not being sore is because I'm not, I'm not working out hard enough, but I think it's because I'm stretching good before and after and doing a warm up before to get the blood flowing and everything like that, that makes it good because like that, that like nine minutes of cardio really helps before to warm up for your workout, no matter what workout you're doing, it really helps a lot. So whether you're doing arms or legs or cardio or whatever you're doing, um, or abs it, it, it's good and it's great to get cardio in even on even on arms day even on legs day you know even if it's just real short like that nine minutes nine minute warm-up and then stretch I will say too though that like some of my joints hurt a little bit um, I didn't I didn't get hurt or anything like that but I'm just saying like they felt a little sore because of the fact that I was not like warming up and stretching for workouts and stuff so that it I've I've discovered it is essential it definitely is essential so yeah um, and for music I was I you know I have my workout mix I'm gonna add more I gotta add get physical I, I gotta have that I gotta have um, you're the best around from the karate kid I gotta get uh, you know the final countdown when I'm on my last rep or my last workout or whatever um, and stuff it kind of sucks though because I got a new phone and my backup didn't it, it's saying it's not compatible so a lot of my stuff is deleted so a lot of the like theme songs for my stuff is gone so that's a bummer um, and uh, and yeah uh, so but yeah so for music like I said I my workout mix mostly consists of system up a down and a7x eventually sevenfold because it's hardcore and that's what gets my blood pumping and, and me into the workout uh, I can definitely like see like a mashup of some A7X songs with some DBZ, you know. Um, and then like something I've been getting to recently this week too is Pat Benatar. I love female singers, and but I like them like rock though. I want I like I, there needs to be more female rock singers, and so I've been getting into Pat Benatar doing a different Pat Benatar album every day from Apple Music. I've been doing that. And so, uh, I will say like, yeah, they're not all hits and there's pretty much only like one big hit on each album, but I like listening to albums like that. Like, you know, they have a good flow to it. And there's some songs where I'm like, wow, this is really catchy. I like this a lot. Like this is not, it's, it might be a little more poppy, you know, or whatever, or it might, you know, might be not, not might be 
that heavy or it's where it's a cover like she does a helter skelter cover and i'm like what this is different so yeah it's so great um for shows i really haven't had that much time to watch shows but i did recently watch seven deadly sins anime season two on netflix which is really like it's interesting like the fighting is kind of is cool but it's cheesy because like they'll say like uh, like they'll name a fighting move like this is the four swords attack and then it's like you didn't even use four swords I don't even know what you're talking about um, and stuff and it's bl and then there's like blood and stuff but then like they, it's very like it's kind of like raunchy humor like it's to the part where it's too much you know where like you this guy's feeling up this chick and like it's just inappropriate and I'm like no nah, man that's just molestation like even though she likes you like you're just straight up molesting her you know like that ain't even right so that i don't like but there's some like cute like relationship stuff going on too with like eve and, and uh and king and stuff but i hate like yeah the main chick and the main dude are annoying like she's all like Meliana, and like always it's i hate that trope of like the, the, the chick is always yelling the dude's name and then the dude is always yelling the chick's name. I hate that freaking anime trope. It's annoying when they do it. Uh, so, anyways, but it is a good way to remember people's names, though. I will, like, get that across. But I just feel like, hey, just say their names a lot. Like, you know, you don't have to have a girl scream a guy's name like that. Anyways, um, so that's pretty much that. I did finally catch up on the Nintendo Direct stuff and the TGS Tokyo Game Show stuff, so that's pretty cool. Uh, that I've seen that stuff. That's another reason that I just wanted to watch the Seven Deadly Sins is because there's a Seven Deadly Sins game that's going to be coming out. And so I'm like, okay, that's cool. You know, I want to check that out just because of that. It kind of looks like the Destiny Warriors, you know, reskin or whatever, which is cool with me. I'm good with that. Uh, kind of like the Berserk one, which I really want to play that one. Uh, I've been watching Berserk actually too with like the, I don't like the 3D CG anime. I really don't like what they did with uh, like the chick character, they made her like really weak and she kind of sucks because she was a royal badass and then the other version and the non 3D CG version, the old school version's way better. I was just like kind of just watching it to get myself pumped for the game, you know, or just because it's like, hey, this is what's on here. Just to say I can check it off my list. So yeah, and then, um, yeah, uh, so so that's that's been cool. I've also been playing The Wife Got Me, Seven Deadly, or not Seven Deadly Sins, Metroid, Samus Returns. Oh my god, I love that game. I love the music when you like get items. I just love the background music, the background sound effects. Like I love the fights because you're like destroying these Metroids, and I love how they like they legit have patterns. I miss patterns, and I know like games like a lot of the enemies probably still have patterns nowadays, but it's not the same. Uh, I miss like the 2D uh, like side scrollers. They do add 3D into this, which is mind-blowingly great, but it does get kind of annoying because you have to hold it at that exact angle. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Um, but yeah, oh my god, that game is so amazing. I love it. I give it a strong buy already. I know I haven't beat it yet, but oh my god, it's so phenomenal. I just, it's, it's superb. I love when you get items. Oh, that's so great. It just feels like the sense of accomplishment in those games is just so strong. I feel like it's it doesn't even compare to games nowadays like it, games are like way too easy now and like those games are just more difficult uh and and but they're fun it, it's in a challenging way but not too difficult it's it's wonderful I, I love the i love that game it's so good so yeah um and then um i think that's pretty much it uh for that um as far as that goes I do want to know, like, what's your favorite anime um, character? I know that's going deep, but I'm going to go deep. Uh, I, I'm going to go with Vegeta just because of the fact that, like, he's like a... He, to me, he's my dad, you know? Like, I'm future Trunks or I'm Trunks, and, like, he doesn't know how to, like, you know, really express himself. Uh, very well um, but you know he cares like he's a rough dude you know but you know he, he deep down he's he's got a heart of gold you know um, and, and it, it's taken time also because like hey he's this prince he was supposed to have pretty much his own planet of you know a, a, and reign over these of uh, Saiyans over this whole race this warrior race but then the whole planet got obliterated and then he's now 
you know, the prince, the prince of nothing, essentially. Uh, and so now he's on this planet that he's accepted as his own, and he's always in second place. Like, that's the other thing. Like, when, even the first time he fought Goku, he was stronger. And there's times where he is stronger and more powerful. But when it comes down to it, like, Goku's the better fighter. Like, he's just a better fighter, period. Even if he's not more powerful, he's a better fighter. And he finds ways to make himself more powerful, even if it's momentary. Uh, so that's why I always love, like, he's always in second place. Too, and he's always fighting. He's, he de never quits. He never stops. You know, and he's always, like getting beat up and he's like no nope, I'm coming back I'm getting back up and so I love that perseverance in him and how he's become better and better and better over time so yeah uh, I want to know what your favorite anime character is and why just like that so yeah uh, that's it for me for now I know it's long but hey it's a full week of stuff so stay fit stay healthy stay nerdy and love and peace